the most violent night in five long months of protest. A pitched street battle outside Thailand's parliament, the home of what was once a messy but functioning democracy. As the foot soldiers rinsed off the stinging irritants, Parliament was debating proposed amendments to a constitution written by the military, which at its heart preserves the sanctity of Thailand's monarchy. Revisions that the upper house of senators, hand-picked by the army, are unlikely to permit to see the light of day. But without reform, these protests will not stop. And when the king told us two weeks ago that Thailand is the land of compromise, those ranged against him scoffed. Thailand is not land for compromise. This is not land for compromise. This is not. Look at my mouth. This is not compromise. Look at Look at Look at that. Look at this. What they doing to, to us? This is not compromise. It's it is no mercy. This is no mercy for us. It's no mercy for the Thai people. Earlier, pro-democracy protesters breached barricades near Parliament. Police vanished, allowing direct confrontation with the King's ultra-royalist yellow shirt supporters who'd come to demand the former junta's constitution remains untouched. King Mahawachira Longkorn is exalted in this constitution as enthroned in a position of revered worship. But those clamoring for reform believe he's all too human, and tales of regal profligacy have embittered many ties left destitute by this pandemic. Fertile ground for heresy, rebellion. The Hunger Games salute remains the symbol of defiance here in this increasingly dystopian kingdom.